House Bill 8 is changing the landscape of funding for community colleges in the state of Texas. House Bill 8 was passed unanimously through the House and the Senate. CBS 7's Armando Gomez spoke with Odessa College and Midland College about how the new funding will affect them. Armando? House Bill 8 will set aside $683 million to be distributed based on student outcome. The old formula was based on the total of hours of student enrollment. Now it would depend if the student earning the degree or transferring to a four-year school. It's definitely allowing us to look at our credentials and make sure that our credentials and our degrees are of value. So the goal is to ensure that students are transferring. Midland College received $8.3 million this year. Odessa College will receive $14.1 million this year. Last year they earned $9.8 million. Last year they earned $9.8 million. That's a 43% increase with the new funding model. It helps us to align what we do with what those jobs are. And it's very crucial that we work with our industry partners to be able to find out what those needs are. The new funding formula will help schools to keep students on track to graduate and be hired at one of many high demand jobs in the Permian Basin. The jobs in our area tend to be high skilled jobs. They require a lot of technical training and preparation and hands on preparation. So it's critical that when they graduate from us, they're prepared to go straight to work. Both Odessa College and Midland College are planning to use the funds for their students and to renovate their school. Midland College has received all of its funding from House Bill 8. Odessa College already received 50% of the funding and they will earn the rest in June. For CBSM First Alert News, I'm Armando Gomez.